Hello, my lovelies. Welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the middle of the month love readings. I know we're a little bit behind. I want to wish you guys all happy holidays. Um, wish you guys the very best. Let's get into your reading Pisces. This is going to be for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the remaining of November going into the first week of December in regards to your love life. Now, when shuffling the cards, we have here the Empress card. And what I sensed uh, with this Empress card is a lot of you guys may be experiencing lack of confidence or you're constantly self-doubting yourself. Um, what they're telling you is don't put a lot of weight uh, or don't put a lot of energy on how you think people perceive you. So this could be whether it be like if you're currently experiencing insecurities, uh, if you feel that, you know, you could be doing better or you could be feeling better or it's almost like insecurities in regards to love, what you feel you deserve. And for a lot of you guys, it could be the feeling of like sacrificing certain things because you don't feel that if you express to those, you know, to the people that you're dealing with or those that are, you know, the person that is of your interest or even your partner, if you express to them, you know, your expectations or what you're wanting in this relationship, it's almost like a fear. It's, I'm feeling like when you're walking on eggshells and because you don't want to rock the boat and it comes from the lack of confidence that you may be experiencing. So if for some of you guys, this could represent not wanting to speak up or putting up with nonsense and not having you know, the believe in yourself to stand your ground and to tell them what is okay and what is not okay because there's a fear that you may lose them or there's a fear that they may walk away or a fear of you pushing them away. And what Spirit is telling you here is with the Empress card, you need to be more confident in yourself and know your self-worth. If they're doing things that you wouldn't normally allow in a relationship or wouldn't necessarily like turn a blind eye to, you need to address that. Because if you don't, right, they're going to know how far they can push you and they will continue to test you. All right. All right. Let's get into your reading, Pisces. And that was just one card. <laughs> yeah, I'm not here. We have the three of swords. So I was definitely sensing that type of energy here with the wheel card the two of pentacles, the six of cups, partner's cards is the star card, the temperance, the king of swords, and the five of swords. All right. So what they're showing me here with the three of swords, it could have been a situation where uh, perhaps you felt um, if in the past there was a third party situation or you felt betrayed or you felt hurt, uh, it doesn't have to be with the person that you're currently with. This could be the energy you came into this relationship or this connection with. Now with the wheel of the year here, next to the three of swords and the two of pentacles, what they're saying here is in order for you to be able to change your luck or to change the outcome in the relationships that you've had in the past, you have to balance your energies. It's a give and take when we're talking about partnerships and relationships. With the Six of Cups, it, there's almost like an innocence to you, Pisces. And it could be the innocence of hoping for the better in people. This could be that, you know, if you have dealt or the person you're currently with has, you know, betrayed you in the past, you're still hopeful that they can turn around um, or that they can change or anything of that nature and, and but what is it costing you what is it coming like at the end of the day what is it costing you is it costing you your confidence is it that you often question your worth is it that you're hopeful but you don't really see them putting effort 
Or is this you, Pisces, the one that has stepped out of the relationship or are thinking of stepping out of a relationship? And what keeps you there is the history or that you've been with this person for a very long time. But there's no real connection there. Now, the cards of the person that you're currently dealing with is the star card. There is hope here. There is hope or something that you're holding on to, a desire that you're wanting to manifest. For some of you guys, it's with the uh, air energy. It could be an Aquarius, a Libra, Gemini. For others of you, it could be a Sagittarius. We have temperance here. Um, and, you know, if you are dealing with this individual, it's it's the way they're seeing the situation is like they feel some type of connection. But I feel that that connection is not fully on you Pisces now when I say that what they're telling me here is you may be holding on to hope for a specific individual to either give you attention or to reciprocate the interest you have in them with the temperance card and the king of swords this is a person that has made up their mind already and with the five of swords it's almost like they feel that there are, certain, there are certain lines they wouldn't cross. And I, it's like they've made up their mind already and they're not going to take it to that level. So what they're telling me, it's different scenarios for some of you guys. For some of you guys, you're in a relationship and you may be tempted to cheat. Now, the person that you are interested in is not being reciprocal in their feelings for you and that could be why the empress came out uh i sensed it you know in reverse almost like kind of questioning your confidence is it me why aren't they interested but there is some type of attachment here with that person it could be that they know you're in a relationship and there are certain there are certain lines they just wouldn't cross so that decision has already been made now for others of you if you're dealing with the partner that has pulled away and you're wondering what's going on and you wanting clarity what they're telling you is that at the present time their focus is towards another person so what they're saying here with the six of cups and the five of swords stop holding on to trying to work something out because you've been with them for a long time if you've invested your time if you've invested being in this relationship for six years and in in those six years there hasn't been commitment what are you waiting for, Pisces? Stop sacrificing yourself. Stop being hubby material or stop being wifey material, treating them like they're your husband or your wife, but then on the other end, they're not doing that in return. We teach others how to treat us by what we allow. Okay, let me see what Spirit's direct message is for you in regards to this situation. Spirit, please give me a direct message in regards to this situation for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus in regards to, oof, in regards to their love life. Spirits. Okay. Okay, so we have worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. If you're trying to force something to happen, Pisces, with a specific person that is just not reciprocating that type of energy, walk away from it. We are currently dealing with energies that the more you resist change or the more you resist something and you try to force things, the more difficult it becomes. And I see you guys very much in your head. Um, the person that is right for you is going to let you know exactly where you stand with them. And the worth waiting for is not telling you if you've been waiting for this person to want to make something in this relationship or in this connection. And it's been happening for a while. They're not telling you wait for that person. They're telling you stop forcing things. The right person will come or will step into your life at divine timing, not when you choose, 
But when spirit feels you're ready, perhaps you're still having to deal with these unresolved issues. Now, for those of you guys that are currently dealing with a person um, and it's you the one that, you know, is unsure about this connection or is unsure, unsure if you want to continue in this relationship, perhaps because you recently met someone, you know, if the other person is sensing the same thing, the same energy or the same connection and they're wanting something they're going to push you to get out of this situation. And if they're not doing that, they're comfortable with that. And if they're comfortable with that, then obviously they don't want nothing serious with you. So you got to pay attention to those red flags, Pisces. I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. I hope it gives you some type of clarity. I wish you guys the very best. Happy holidays again, and we'll see each other soon. Bye.